Hernia is a condition that can affect anyone, regardless of age or gender, and it can occur in various parts of the body. To begin with, a hernia occurs when an organ, tissue, or fatty tissue protrudes through a weak spot in the surrounding muscle or connective tissue. This often leads to a noticeable bulge that may be accompanied by discomfort or pain, especially during activities that increase abdominal pressure, such as lifting, bending, or coughing. There are several types of hernias, with the most common being inguinal hernias, which occur in the groin area. Inguinal hernias are more prevalent in men, often due to a congenital weakness in the abdominal wall. Another common type is the femoral hernia, which also occurs in the groin, but is found lower down, more common in women. Umbilical hernias can occur around the belly button and are often seen in newborns, although they can appear in adults as well. Lastly, incisional hernias occur at the site of previous surgical incisions, making them a concern for those who have undergone abdominal surgery. The cause of a hernia can vary. Factors that may contribute include a combination of muscle weakness and strain. This can be due to age, heavy lifting, chronic coughing, obesity, pregnancy, or conditions that increase abdominal pressure such as constipation or fluid in the abdomen. Symptoms of a hernia can also vary. Some individuals might not experience any symptoms at all, while others may notice a bulge or lump that can be pushed back in. They might also experience pain or discomfort, particularly when bending over, coughing, or lifting. It is essential to seek medical attention if you notice any of these symptoms, as hernias can lead to more severe complications, such as strangulation, where blood supply to the protruded organ is compromised. Diagnosis of a hernia usually begins with a physical exam during which a healthcare provider will assess any bulges and inquire about accompanying symptoms. In some cases, imaging tests, such as an ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI, may be needed to confirm the diagnosis and to assess the size of the hernia and its contents. When it comes to treatment, surgery is often recommended for symptomatic hernias or those that risk becoming incarcerated or strangulated. There are two primary surgical techniques, open surgery and laparoscopic surgery. Open surgery involves making a larger incision to repair the hernia. In contrast, laparoscopic surgery involves several small incisions and the use of a camera offering quicker recovery times and reduced pain for many patients. During surgery, the protruding tissue is pushed back into place, and the muscle wall is reinforced, often with a mesh to prevent recurrence. Recovery after hernia surgery varies by individual and type of surgery performed. Generally, patients can expect some discomfort, but this can often be managed with prescribed medications. Resuming normal activities may usually occur within a few weeks, though heavy lifting and intense activities may require more extended recovery periods. It's crucial to follow the doctor's post-operative instructions to ensure proper healing and reduce the chance of complications. Preventing hernias is not always possible, but there are strategies that may help reduce risk factors. Maintaining a healthy weight, practicing proper lifting techniques, avoiding heavy lifting when possible, staying physically active, and quitting smoking can all contribute to stronger abdominal muscles and overall health. In conclusion, while a hernia can seem alarming, understanding this condition and seeking prompt medical advice can make a significant difference. If you suspect you have a hernia or experiencing symptoms, don't hesitate to schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider. Remember, knowledge is key in managing your health, and early intervention can lead to better outcomes. Thank you for watching, and if you found this information useful, please like and subscribe for more health related content.